This is just a bit of an experiment for that uh, power line thing I'm doing. Um, or working on. By the way, don't attempt this at home. 1,200 volts, risk of electrocution. The insulation on those wires is not rated to take this. That's why they're all um, on this uh, sheet of plexiglass or plexan macro on some kind of sheet plastic I got. Um, anyways, these are 230 volt, 40 watt uh, GLS lamps. Um, I ordered SATCOs, but they actually sent to these um, ASRAM um, European GLS lamps, which is interesting. Definitely much higher quality than the SATCOs would be at any rate. Uh, made in France, too, in October of 2013, if I'm reading the date code right, so that's also somewhat interesting. Well, that or November, I don't... I think A is the code for October in their date codes, but I don't know. Um, anyway, these six lamps are all running in series on the about 1,230 volts, so each one's only getting about 200 to 205 volts. So they aren't running at full brightness, but they're fairly close to it, and at any rate, they'll last a lot longer on that way, which is kind of good because you don't have any kind of cutouts. What I'll probably do is in the final installation, I'll just have a little spark gap rigged up in parallel with each lamp holder so that if, should a lamp fail, it'll just arc over there instead of in the lamp holder destroying it. And there is the transformer that they're all running off of. All 58 pounds of it. So yeah, that's one thing I'm also going to build a proper case for just to make transporting it easier because would you just something that has carry handles and also make terminating it easier. I'll just have a couple of binding posts on a piece of a plastic sheeting just to insulate it. And probably also a switch and fuse and stuff as well. But there's the experiment, and uh, so far so good. There's the uh, edge on the lamps. And again, risk of electric shock, don't attempt this at home, blah, blah, blah. Usual guff.